Well, I got recruited by uh, a lot of schools from all over, a lot of high majors. Um, it's interesting now to go back and see some of the coaches that were recruiting me at you know, mid-majors at different places and where they ended up. You know, like a John Beeline was at Richmond. He recruited me really hard, um, and all of a sudden he's at Michigan now. So, um, you know, I, I just, once it got to the point, I decided I wanted to be in the Missouri Valley. I wanted to go to a place where I felt like I could make an impact. I'm not the type of guy that likes to go and sit and wait my turn. Sure. Um, and I saw the opportunity there. Coach Weber had just gotten the job. I actually committed to him before he ever coached a game. Uh, so you know, we did a lot of research on our end of it and heard about him as a person first and then um, what, what it seemed like he was going to be like as a coach. Uh, motion offense, same thing I read in high school, coming off screens, reading, reacting, and that fit my game. So I committed to him and also getting a chance to play for the local university where I grew up and uh, be the hometown guy and, and try to put Southern Illinois on the map was my, was my goal. Well, little did I know we were going to be able to you know, get an at-large bid and then go and uh, make a run to the Sweet 16 like we did. Um, but you know, my career there, I was very satisfied with what I was able to accomplish. Like I said, we kind of went beyond uh, what dreams I could ever dream of going into that situation. Uh, NIT my first year, into the second round. Uh, second year was a little bit of a learning curve. But that learning curve, you have to have if you want to push forward. If everything's all kind of decent and smooth, you know, you, you don't have those rough times. Sometimes you don't learn. And we learned the hard way and bounced right back, set a school record my junior year with 28, 20, wins, yeah, or 28 wins. Uh, like I said, we went to the Sweet 16. Had some, some really cool wins throughout the year, too. Uh, beat Indiana at our place, and they were ranked in the nation at that time. Um, had some sellouts when Indiana came to our place, Creighton came to our place. Uh, they were our conference rival back then, so had some, uh, some great moments. Had the, the fans storm the court. Um, actually had been fortunate where I had three different times where the fans stormed the court uh, for me in college. So it was uh, two times winning a championship and one time on a buzzer beater where we had the fans. So when you get to celebrate on your home court a championship and all the fans are jumping around, it's, uh, that's exciting. That's what college basketball is all about.